So there's two over-the-counter options now, one from Dexcom, one from Abbott, and, and David, tell us about those. So, yeah, so <clears throat> one, one thing I'd add uh, or correct is that even though it's over-the-counter, it's a little deceptive because you can't walk into a chain pharmacy yet. Hopefully that will change over time. You do have to order it directly either through the company or uh, some of them are available on Amazon. Uh, but I wish you could just walk into a CVS. Um, but so Abbott, uh, makers of the Freestyle Libre, have a product called the Lingo, which is their over-the-counter option. And Dexcom um, has a version uh, very similar to the G7, but it's called the Stello. And both of these uh, are similar in that they're intended for people who do not use insulin. Um, so as a byproduct of that, uh, they don't have alerts. So you can't set a typical high alert or, or a low alert. Um, but there is what's called spike detection on the Dexcom Stello. So after you eat, if you go high, it will alert you after the fact and say kind of, hey, you had a spike uh, and it might nudge you to kind of think about what could have led to that. You know, did you eat extra? Did you have stress? Um, and it kind of forces the user to reflect on ways to reduce their blood sugar through lifestyle modification. So both of these products are very geared towards kind of the wellness community, nutrition, lifestyle management. Um, so it's a really exciting entry point, like Jeremy said, for people that are not using insulin. 